what is our exit strategy for our involvement in Ukraine? What's the end? Describe it. This is why you inevitably march down the path toward nuclear holocaust. Describe the exit strategy. It clearly isn't peace talks. It clearly isn't compromise. Reports are the United States squashed some months ago, some half a year ago, potential peace talks between Russia and Ukraine. If you ask someone who wears a Ukrainian flag lapel button pin, or if you ask someone who flies the Ukrainian flag outside their home, you'll find it. It's sitting there right past the trans flag. It's right next to the sign that says, in this house, love is love and Black Lives Matter. You can find the home. You know what I'm talking about. You know the flag. When you see someone with that flag, if you ask them what is our exit strategy, odds are the answer you will get is something akin to William Wallace in Braveheart. Remember in Braveheart when they march out onto the battlefield and the English nobles meet the Scottish lords and they begin to do what they've always done in conflict. They begin to compromise and outrides William Wallace face painted in blue, menacing them, riding his horse around the outsides. It's an awesome scene. It's one where we embrace our inner rebel. It's one where we see us as Americans in the freedom fight of the Scottish. But it's also one that seems to be the Ukrainian flag lapel pin version of diplomacy. Because William Wallace says to the English lords, and I can't do a Scottish accent. Here are our terms. March back to England. Stop at every village and every town. Stop at every home and apologize For 500 years of oppression. Take every wife, every mother, get on your knees and beg and plead for forgiveness along the way. And the English lords begin to laugh and he says, I'm not done. And before we leave this battlefield, I want your, each of you, English lords, to get on your knees and kiss my ass. At that point, everyone understood exactly the terms. War. If you ask the Ukrainian flag lapel pin crowd, what is our exit strategy? Their answer will inevitably be every Russian troop backed out of Ukraine and regime change in Russia. The ousting of Vladimir Putin. If that's the case... Our exit strategy is total war. If that's the case, our exit strategy is nuclear holocaust. And I'm not talking about battlefield tactical nukes. I'm talking about the big dogs. If you push anyone into an existential crisis, they will force you into an existential crisis. You know what we mean by existential. I don't mean to be pedantic, but sometimes that gets lost in sort of philosophy 101. Existential, meaning whether or not they will continue to exist. Let's say Vladimir Putin is the madman that he is accused. You might not try to find out what a madman does when backed into a corner. That reminds me of a scene in Mad Men when Don Draper is sitting there and his past full of lies, his fake identity has been outed. And there's a man sitting across the desk from him who says, I know exactly who you are. I know exactly what you did. You, did he kill a fellow soldier in World War II and assume his identity or did he just take a fallen soldier's identity? Whatever he did, it was nefarious. And this man says, I know exactly what you did. And Don Draper sits there quietly and at the end he goes, if I am the person that you describe me to be, if what you say is true, the last thing I would do would be to sit in his office across from him arrogantly and tell him that you know who he is. The last thing I would do, if I am the man you describe, is mess with me. If Vladimir Putin is the madman you describe, the last thing you want to do is push him into an existential corner when he's sitting there on top of a nuclear arsenal. What is our exit strategy? Finally, Emmanuel Todd, the French intellectual, said this I found fascinating in the newspaper. He said, this is why we are now in an endless war, in a confrontation whose outcome must be collapse of one or the other. Whose outcome must be collapse of one or the other, the existential war. 
But the one that benefits from this war is not to have it end in nuclear holocaust. That's to no one's benefit. 